Okay, uh, we are joined on the dais by head coach Scott Parra, uh, Travis Evey, and Max Fiedler. Coach, before we go to questions, uh, would you just give us some thoughts on the game? Yeah, what a seesaw, you know, affair. I mean, we, we jumped on them. We were really, uh, really clicking on both sides of the ball, you know, the first four, six minutes, whatever it was. And, you know, they, they, you know, they got settled in, made some shots and got back in it. And then they closed the half kind of how we started it. And, you know, I, I was just walking over here with Travis and, you know, 13 is just such a big number to come back from because you, you spend so much energy doing that. And then and, and, and every, every play becomes under a microscope down the stretch. And, uh, you know, obviously they, you know, Rogers kid hit just huge shots. Um, and it's a credit to them, credit to him. And, uh, you know, congratulations to Wichita. Chuck, we have anybody on Zoom? Uh, we do. We can go to Matthew Bartlett, please. All right. Uh, start with uh, Travis and Max. What was it like, that run on the floor, where it felt like a Wichita State made, I think, 19 of 22 shots in a row? What was it like kind of being in that moment and then to come out and have your own run in the second half? Um, I mean, basketball is a game of runs, right? Um, I mean, they're great players over there, starting with Rodgers. He made a lot of tough shots. Um, I thought the defense was solid. Um, we gave him a couple of looks that, I mean, I wish we probably ha we would want to have back. Um, but, I mean, they hit some tough shots, and I think we really stayed together. Um, you know, heightened up our, you know, our focus, our, our energy to, you know, climb back in it and weather that storm. And what was it like coming to the bench when after that all that seesaw you get to the you know last six minutes of the game and it's a one point game um kind of who who kind of took charge in that in that huddle and what was the message um i think i mean our leaders stepped up i mean max Armin max and myself all of them too um you know the guys that you know been around for a while and you know really you know what what it takes to win those close games um and I think everyone was talking. We were all focused, um, and I mean, we gave ourselves a chance to win. Like you said, they had built a lead to start the second half that we had to climb back from. And then I think it was under six, and it was at a one-point game, so we were right where we wanted to be. We we had our opportunity to you know go win this game. And then uh, one last one for both of you guys. Um, the end of a long, long career at Rice. A lot of big moments. How are you going to kind of? remember this season, you know, once the sting of this loss uh, goes away? Um, yeah, you know, it's been a great five years. I'm, I'm super, super thankful for everything. Um, Rice University, Rice basketball, um, you know, just a lot of really, really great people. Um, you know, and I'm, and I'm just super thankful to be a part of it. Yeah, um, it's been a great four years, and this one's going to sting probably for a while. I mean, it's not the way that we wanted to go out, but I think in about a week or two weeks, whenever this wears off, um, I'll really be able to look back and really be thankful for um, everything that this university has given me, everything that um, these two guys next to me have given me. Um, I'm going to miss playing with them. I'm going to miss putting on the jersey. Um, I'm going to miss being in the locker room with these guys. So, yeah. I'm, Looking back on this in a couple of weeks, I'm, I'm going to be thankful for sure. And then uh, for you, you coach, uh, year seven, it's been a, a wild ride uh, so far. Kind of what, what are you, how do you kind of, when you step back and unpack how this year went, what, what are the high points you're going to take away? And then um, I guess learning points for, for going forward. Well, the, the high points start with these two. Um, Getting to coach them every day is a high point. <laughs> um, you're talking about two of the most decorated players in the history of the school. Their names are all over the record books. They've, they've played unbelievable basketball games. They've, they've, they've in, in, in five years of Max and four years of Trav, they've given me a combined zero problems. 
off the floor. And you, you just, as a coach, I don't know how many guys have done this that as long as I've done it, have that, that good fortune to have two, two kids like that, um, that just every day were about the right things, every day cared, every day were always team first. I mean, I'm just super blessed uh, to be a part of uh, and an opportunity to coach them both. You know, we, we had some huge wins. We, we won two games. You know, we won at Memphis. Rice had never won at Memphis before. It's a game we'll, we'll always all remember. The game we played at UAB might be one of the, the best basketball games as a coach I, I've ever been a part of. I mean, we played near perfect. Um, that's something we'll obviously never forget. I'll never, I won't forget the game at Temple, you know, to do that in front of, you know, friends and family of mine, you know, hundreds of people there for, for that and to win that game. So there, it's, it's, there's so many. And then, you know, what, what are there things, you know, t to learn? There's always things to learn, you know. There, there's some holes, you know, we, that we need to plug. And we're, we're, we're losing two, you know, unbelievable players. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm very excited and encouraged about Andrew. I'm, I'm excited and encouraged about Iffy and, and Gabe and Camp and Keanu and, and the guys that maybe didn't play as many minutes as they wanted to this year because these guys and Alam and, and older guys were ahead of them. If, you know, if they can stay patient and now take, take, get in the gym and do the things they need to do, you're going to see some, some really good years uh, moving forward from kids like that. And so, but we, we've got to get better defensively. You know, with the kid we have signed out of Phoenix is really going to help that. You know, obviously, we have a couple other kids that we're involved with that I think will help that. The portal is going to be important for us to find guys uh, that, that do that stuff, you know, make us, make us tougher defensively. Uh, you know, that's going to be a critical thing, especially in this new league, as many good players as there are. And then it's, you mentioned it's, it's a tough league um, and obviously a, a tough year. What, what kind of gives you confidence that um, you'll be able to, you know, even with losing these two guys, be able to rebound and, and, and next year and the future will be brighter? Because, Matthew, you know, I, I know what it takes to, to win at this school. It's a unique place. Uh, it's not for everybody. That's why I love coaching here. You know, I, I remember the panic when Trey Murphy and, and Drew Peterson transferred. And, you know, everybody thought that was the end of the Rice program. And we had a better record the next year without them. We got guys, you know, like Travis out of the portal. Max grew up a lot. And, and so you, you, you just find ways. And, and when you have a, a culture that is strong, that these guys have established, the bricks that have been built, you know, I, I say this all the time throughout the year. When, when you have a strong culture and you go through a year like we've been through and the, the arrows are firing at you and the bullets are coming, you're able to keep the fort afloat. You're, you're able to keep the fort solid. You're able to keep things moving forward because you have high character kids that are about the right stuff. And that's why I know this can be fixed quickly. And, and, this, and you watched all the games. I mean, I don't, I don't know, 10 of them in the last minute? I, I, I mean, it's just uncanny, uh, the, the misfortune we had this year. That's all I have. Thanks. I appreciate it. Coach, thanks very much. Thank Appreciate you. Thank it, you. Thank you, Matthew. And thank you to Tim uh, Andruski, the S.